Well, it's it's theft of intellectual property. Um, you know, when, when a, as a former journalist, when you go to the hard work of getting a great clip, uh, it belongs to your news organization, and it's no different than than uh, um, you know an architect designing a building or a, or a, uh, you know or, or or someone staking a claim to a, to a, to uh, to an oil field. Um, property is property, intellectual property is property, and, and taking it without permission, using it without permission, and using it without paying for it is theft. You know, there's some responsibility on the user, right? So it doesn't matter which, sorry, which, which political party uh, is using the information. If you use it in a, in a reasonable and responsible way, I, I expect there'd be no kickback. But why, if, you go, if you go over the top, but, this, it, there probably sorry, would but be. at the same time, it's a private company producing its own news. We are the ones who pay for the reporters, the cameramen, the footage, etc. Mm -hmm. So under copyright, I mean, technically, it should be ours to give permission to use after that point. If, if there's a copyright issue there, then I'd have to see how that copyright issue works. It's, it's just outright right stealing, trying to take information off that belongs to someone else to use it to exploitate other political people. Clearly they, they're running out of methods to figure out how to destroy Justin Trudeau, so they figure they'll amend the copyright law. It's outrageous. It's just an, this government has no, no principles and no lines in the sand. They'll do anything possible. Are you suggesting the current political advertising doesn't perhaps misconstrue positions by others? I mean, let's face it, um, anybody who says anything on the record, on the public record, and is reported, I think is, is fair game to have that, uh, have that shown and repeated. It's all about them and their game for negative advertising where they are just, they are abso absolutely bereft and empty of any ideas to inspire people to vote for them. What they have to do, the only thing they have, is the weapon of fear. They just don't vote for anybody else because they are this, that, and this. They will take news clips, they will warp them, they'll take the message and misconstrue them for the simple reason that they want to instill fear, either to repress the vote or just to gain it on, on, for all negative reasons. I mean, there's a double irony. You, you seize their content inappropriately, uh, and then you force the networks to carry the nasty, misleading, negative ads uh, without any, frankly, recourse. Um, the Minister of Heritage should be ashamed of herself. She's the one who's supposed to be protecting uh, artists, uh, television networks. Uh, the idea that she's the minister responsible for the CBC and Radio-Canada, and instead she's making it easier for some hack at the Conservative Party uh, to seize uh, intellectual property and run a nasty ad, uh, I don't think will make her very popular with the stakeholders that she's supposed to advocate for. Absolutely. I mean, this has to do with 2015. This has to do with the coming elections. Uh, this has to do with uh, the Conservatives trying to find every inch of space that they can uh, to play dirty politics.